Welcome back. Noted filmmaker from Sri Lanka, Sumitra Piris, has asked young women filmmakers to be more committed to their work for producing quality movies. She is one of the best known filmmakers in Asia. Sumitra Piris and many other filmmakers from India, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Maldives had an interaction on the second day of the South Asia Film Festival. She came for the interaction in spite of having a fall at beach in North Goa. She was badly injured after her fall. When delegates asked her about her journey as a women filmmaker, she said, one has to be committed to whatever work we undertake. Whatever you choose is a kind of commitment to it and really do quite with dedication and with, with not only uh, uh, a kind of uh, monetary gain at the end of the line, which is also partly important because I guess cinema is a commercial media. The interaction opened new dialogue for many filmmakers from across South Asia. However, some filmmakers say this festival needs more publicity to attract the crowd. Not very happy on the response of the audience, though I found the film is being screened free of cost. Still, I did not see much of a crowd, so I thought publicity could be done and more of a response uh, of audience could come in and watch uh, our films. A senior reporter from Panji Rakesh Kandurkar with video journalist Shan. Shavan is over. After the Ganpati Visarjan, now all the fish lovers have attacked the seafood. Adding spice to it, United Friends of Panji had organized an annual fishing contest on Sunday. Sheikh Mukhtar was skillful and lucky to find a winning Shoto and he topped the contest. Shoto, Sangta, Burate are some of the fishes that were angled at the fishing contest. Panji Jetty witnessed a significant crowd tourists and fishing lovers at this fishing contest. Around 40 participants participated in the competition. Foreigners were also seen enjoying the contest. Usman Sheikh topped the contest with the catch of Shoto. For some fishing is a hobby and for some it's a profession. Whatever it might be, it requires a combination of luck and skill. A good fish catch decorates the Goan dining table. It's the fourth consecutive year this competition is being organized. Every year it is held on second Sunday of September, but this year it was postponed due to Tsavat. However, President of United Friends Francis George is not happy with the response. I was around 40 people. Uh, must be because of the date shift. Every year I around 60-70 participants. Because of the date shift, uh, I think so, uh, 40 participants. Uh, 40 Our prizes are on heaviest fish, uh, excluding eel and crabs. Consider uh, it. Heaviest on weight. Okay, heaviest will win. Uh, prizes are 3,500, uh, 2,500 and 1,500. A reporter from Panji Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Sushan Pur. The newly bought Made in China Doppler radar is least likely to be installed at the Met Department Observatory in Panji. Defense Ministry has objected to the China make radars due to the security reasons. The department is now moving ahead for an indigenously made Doppler radar from Bharat Electronic Limited. This Doppler radar was brought at Altino Met Department in April this year. It is made in China. Doppler radar helps in detecting path of cyclones more efficiently than any other machine. Met Department had blamed absence of Doppler radar as main reason for not detecting path of cyclone Fayan last year. There are few cyclone detecting radar on the Indian coast. Since past two years, Met Department had initiated work for installing Made in China Doppler radars on Indian coast. Sources and departments say Defence Ministry has now objected to this radars due to the security reasons. Sources say Ministry does not want this radars to be installed on country's coast. This newly bought Made in China Doppler radar from Panji is likely to be used in interior regions of India. Ministry has no objection if these radars are installed in interior regions of the country. 
few months back made in china doppler radars were also objected in mumbai by indian navy now the only feasible option is to install the indian make radars in the coastal regions doppler radar was supposed to be installed in goa by june 2010 but due to objection from defense ministry and incomplete work of radar building its installation was delayed now sources say it is almost confirmed they will get radar from bharat electronic limited by may 2011 the radar will be installed in panjim with video journalist shan rakesh kandolkar for prudent media goans now have one more reason to say cheers Goa's Feni, which is popular among tourists, is now being marketed outside the state and European countries like USA, Middle East, Europe, Australia, Russia, and Canada. The GI certification has widened the market boundaries for Goa's Feni up to European Union. The state drink brewed from ripe cashew apples and coconut is now armed with a geographical indication. The registration of GI in respect to a product gives exclusive right to the proprietor for its use and protects him from an act of unfair competition against deceptively similar goods. It's a sign used on goods having specific geographical origin. Manufacturers now want to create brand Feni and turn it into a drink of international repute. GI has given Feni an image makeover. From the tag of a local poor man's liquor, it has become this exotic drink. Director of a leading branded Feni distiller Madam Rosa Distillery and president of All Goa Cashew Feni Distillers and Bottlers Association Mac Was has a lot of hopes about the growing marketing scope of Feni. Mac Was says, "We have sent a small consignment abroad on a trial basis. Feni comes with health benefits which can make it a truly international drink." The markets like the Middle East, Europe, Australia and Canada too are getting a taste of the drink. According to marketers, Goan Feni has now entered the white spirit segment, especially in USA and European Union. But the irony is, the local organic production of cashew in the state is experiencing a sharp decline for the past few years. It's a matter of worry for the cashew nut producers too, raising a question mark on the policies of the state. Bureau report Prudent Media. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 